Hello, it's uh, August 7th, 2021, and I just wanted to give a update video of how things have been going and what I've been working on. Um, I've been spending the last year uh, off and on when I find time cleaning out uh, this space here. This used to be full of a bunch of furniture and whatnot, and I've been collecting um, primarily uh, Tektronics oscilloscopes. Uh, I really like the 500 series oscilloscopes especially and been working on building up a collection of them so that I can uh, document them and learn about uh, more about electronics through working on them and to just kind of make a lot of video content on Tektronics the old Tektronics uh, equipment. There's several reasons why I really like old Tektronics equipment. Uh, one thing is their um, documentation is really, really thorough. And there is also a lot of people around who know how to work on them. And... Um, they're always really helpful and always ready to give advice on, you know, what to what to look for and what kinds of problems you might run into. So I know personally I really enjoy when I see other people on YouTube posting videos about their old Tektronix scopes, uh, whether they're working on them or whether they're just unboxing them. Um, it's just really a lot of a lot of fun for me so i know there's probably a few other people out there with this fascination in the world and i thought it'd be kind of fun to make some content uh of my own as well to kind of contribute to all the fun tektronics videos out there on youtube <laughs> so uh this is the scopes that i've been collecting mostly through the past I'd say two years um, I started out uh, when I was a teenager uh, I was you know about 30 years ago I was interested in boat anchor electronics back then and I was a ham radio operator and um, then I got out of it to get into uh, computers and IT basically so now I'm in my 40s and I've taken an interest again in uh, learning about electronics. So along the way, uh, over the past several uh, decades, um, you know, I would still run into pieces of equipment once in a while. And um, the 547, I think that was the first oscilloscope that I, the first Tektronics oscillos oscilloscope that I had. But then most of these came like within the past couple of years. I decided to start hunting them down and I've been looking everywhere I can for them. Um, driving long ways in some cases to pick them up and uh, just get them stored here. And I'd like to go through each of these and make a, a video on diagnosing them and uh, doing restoration work. So I think that would that would just help these instruments stay around longer, uh, help preserve them for future generations, and um, they're just really cool. If you enjoy 500 series tech scopes like I do, I, I love watching that kind of video content when other people make it. So um, here's a couple 575 curve tracers as well. Uh, I've got a 555 down there that I purchased. Uh, that one's got a lot of issues with the vacuum tubes so so I'll have to go through that and I, I did get some replacement tubes for it um, but I haven't put them in and powered it up yet all these are gonna need the caps reformed and checked out uh, there's a 556 this is actually my personal favorite I think is the 556 it's just such a cool beautiful oscilloscope uh, I like it um, 
I think even a little more than the 555. <laughs> I know everyone loves the triple nickels, but I love the 556 the most, I think. Um, but we'll see as time goes on, maybe that'll change. But I just think that's such a beautiful jewel. But yeah, I bought that one about a year ago. And then there's a five or a Rackmel 33 down there. Uh, here I picked up uh, a couple of signal generators that I can use uh, for doing some calibration. I want to try and I know I can get, you know, modern signal generators and stuff, but I thought it'd be kind of cool to have some of the original uh, equipment. So I just kind of want to follow along in the manual. And the first step is going to be to, you know, reform the capacitors in this and run some tests and make sure that it's putting out the right, correct frequency. So um, that's probably going to be the first project that I work on after I finish cleaning all this stuff out and organizing. Uh, let's see, back here, I don't know if it, you can see, but there's a 565 down there. Uh, let's see, uh, what is that, 544? Up here I've got an old uh, RM31A rack mount. And here I've got 531, a 551, 535. Uh, this 545B I just picked up a couple weeks ago as well as this uh, 465B. And let's see, here I've got a 555 that I purchased uh, about two weeks ago. Went on a trip to pick him up. And over here I've got a few more 556s that are gonna need some one, two of these are going to need work for sure. This one, uh, I have to still power them up, but I want to get the the caps charged first and make sure they're not leaking. And uh, got some 531s down here as well. So uh, this 556 came actually from a tube scrapper. Um, was able to pick it up. Uh, they beat me to the sale of this oscilloscope, and but I did, on a hunch that they were going to just use it to cannibalize it, I I managed to track them down, and sure enough, they'd pulled all the tubes, uh, but I offered to um, buy all the parts from them, so I have to put all the parts back in, and unfortunately there was some other damage done when they were taking it apart. A couple of the wiring harnesses were cut, so and they've each wiring harness has you know like 35, 40, 50 wires in it, all small and different sizes. And so it's really going to be uh, a challenge to try and get that back together. Same as this one, the guy who bought both of these as a pair for a hundred dollars all together, which is a great deal. Uh, for him but yeah unfortunately he wasn't planning on restoring these so I'll see what I can do I'd really really like to bring these back to life though but I'd like to make some future videos on that and I guess that about covers it um, really like I say I don't want to give the impression that I'm a seasoned tech guy but uh you know i'm just here to kind of create some fun content for people who you know enjoy oscilloscopes old oscilloscopes and um you know maybe uh maybe i can help some other beginners learn as well so uh that's all i hope the future content turns out to be entertaining for a few people and um yeah, that's that's about all I've got right now. So I'll give another update once I get more of this stuff sold on eBay and make some more room in here and get some more of my uh, workbench set up. All right, well, thanks for watching.